Hello, hello, and welcome back to August 19th, question and answer time. I've gotten quite a few questions since the last Q&A, so they are written down, folded up. We're going to go through some of them. If you are new to my channel, I talk about work from home job positions on Mondays and Tuesdays. So those are new jobs that are out that I found on the job boards. Sometimes Wednesday, sometimes not our jobs. Sometimes I talk about live ops where I'm contracted. And then Fridays are our Q&A times. So let's get started with our first question. What are some false work from home promises? Okay, so most people, whether you have just started your work from home journey or you have worked from home for several years, if you are offered third shift data entry at $50 an hour, that's a scam. If somebody asks you to go on Telegram or Google Hangouts, that's a scam. If somebody approaches you about a work from home job, ask for a link to the company's career center to see if it's posted there. If it is, go ahead and apply through the company's website. You do not apply through a friend of a friend of a friend. Like I have referral links from LiveOps, but you can go to LiveOps.com, see the job thing, and then sign up there, or you can sign up under me, or whoever. So that's usually a lot of what work from home. Another work from home scam is going to be, um, we'll send you a check to purchase equipment, send us back the rest. Either they're going to send out their own equipment that they have bought, or they're going to ask you to use your equipment. So yeah, those are some work from home scams. Okay, our next question. How many streams of income do you have? I have three. Um, I have my main income. I have live ops. And then social media. I'm not just here on YouTube. I'm a Udemy course instructor. I have uh, books and planners and adult coloring books on Amazon. So it's a little bit here, a little bit there. But I keep about two to three main incomes. Okay. How do I pick a live ops client? So live ops is a 1099 client, or they're a 1099 company. You go in as an independent contractor and you pick your clients. So for example, Mondays are usually a good day to find new clients um, between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. They do go quick sometimes. And you'll look at, they pay per talk minute. So you'll see how many hours they require a week or a month. And they call every half hour a commit. So if they say 120 commits, that's 60 hours a month. And then you'll look at how much they pay per talk minute. Is it 20 cents per talk minute plus transfers? You know, $1.50 per transfer like I do. Is it 35 cents per talk minute straight? You will look at the certification times. Certifications go anywhere from four days to four weeks. It is unpaid. So picking out a live ops client, and you really should have about two clients. Um, I will eventually pick out another client. I didn't care for my first client, and that's normal. Um, I do like the shorter certifications, so I can go ahead and start making money. But that's generally some of the stuff that you look at when picking a client out. Our next question. Weekly versus bi-weekly pay. That depends on how well you budget. <laughs> so as you all know from the August 12th um, sort of Q&A, I put down my budgeting channel where I will start posting my budgets as I get paid how to set up a budget, and frugal living. So any sort of shops and things like that, we'll do that. Um, so I like bi-weekly myself. Um, 
some people prefer weekly, but most companies are bi-weekly or semi-monthly. Now, bi-weekly is every two weeks, every 14 days. Semi-monthly, like LiveOps does, you get paid on the 1st and the 16th. So it's not exact, it's a little over two weeks. It's like 15 days, maybe 16 on the days, on the months that have 31 days in them. But a lot of that depends on how well you budget. Okay. Should I pay my 1099 taxes quarterly or annually? Again, this depends on you. Um, I prefer to pay mine annually um, I said I know how much money I need to set aside. I hate having to go through it quarterly. I really, really do. If you sign up QuickBooks Freelance, it'll let you know both annually and quarterly, and you can switch between the two how much you would owe in taxes. So um, I prefer taking all my deductions at once and just use QuickBooks, and then I use TurboTax to file my taxes. And TurboTax charges roughly 100, 100 and something dollars to file freelance taxes, but everything oh, they go over all the deductions. So you really get that money back. Okay. How many applications should I fill out per week? This is kind of a hit and miss sort of thing. It is more important for you to find a job that works for your schedule and the amount of money that you need. For example, I know I need X dollars every pay period to pay my bills. Now, you might go through your bills, go through how much your rent is, your utilities, the car, the kids, the spouse, the dog, the cat, the bird, the gerbil, whatever you have at home. If you know, for example, that you need to bring home two thousand dollars a month then you would assume you're going to need about seventeen eighteen dollars an hour that you're doing either through a w-2 or you're making that much money per day so at eighteen dollars an hour that's 144 dollars a day so if you're 1099 the end of your day you're wanting that goal of 144 dollars so say between 130 150 and you know if you need to work more hours. Okay, what is a SME? S is in Sam, M is in Mary, E is in Edward. SME stands for Subject Matter Experts. These are represent reps, usually call center reps, who have shown that they have above and beyond uh, abilities to research questions that are asked by callers, to find information, job aids, knowledge base articles, and things like that. And they're able to help other reps answer questions. So you go from regular rep to SME to team lead ARA on up. So it is a stepping stone for you to take on your progression through a company. Taxes and 1099, I think we kind of covered that a little bit, but um, you get tax deductions. So for example, um, between the social media content and working at live ops, I use a lot of internet. So a portion of my internet bill is deductible. A portion of this room is deductible. Uh, I don't pay utilities. I live in an apartment that it's all bills paid, but utilities would be partially deductible. The laptop, the extra screen, the keyboard, headset, printer, paper, ink, all of it is deductible. But I would use a service, either a tax professional or uh, Jackson Hewitt, H&R Block, TurboTax, to help you out with that. Okay, we're going to do one more. Why so many jobs? Oh, my God. I'm going to tell you the truth. So if you were with me last year, you know I live in a very small town. And my internet was not up to snap. I lost three really good jobs due to internet issues. And um, that was T-Tech, Broadpath, and um, oh, 
who was the other one. I forget who the other one was, but it was T Tech and Broadpath, and I ended up having to really up my package to get a new modem, a new router. I got a new Ethernet Cat 8 cable for the Ethernet, and it, it took a while to get into a package where you know everything was covered. And now that I'm there, Omni, I really didn't get the hours. You know, they did shift bids, and when I started, it was like, you know, yeah, don't go over 38 hours, then it was 25, then it was 18, and I, you know, like I said before in this video, you know how much money you need to make every day in order to pay your bills, and while it is a wonderful company, I, I think they overhired, and it, it just didn't fit with me, but I got with Live Ops um, earlier this year worked client and decided uh you know it was good it was decent money um it's not something i'm horribly interested in and i think that came across a little bit um but i wasn't let go or anything i just kind of like eh, i think i'm gonna go with another client which i did and that's where i'm at now with another client and i will pick a secondary client to kind of balance things out but yeah that's kind of where it is now if you haven't already, I would appreciate hitting the subscribe, like button, as well as the bell notifications, and I will see you next time.